Here are five things that you're doing that's affecting how you think and how you feel, essentially making you dumb. First thing is multitasking. The correct term for this one is actually task switching. Your brain can really only focus on one thing at a time. And if you spend too much time doing this task switching thing, you're being unproductive. You want to spend your time doing things one at a time. This way you can actually get more out of the work that you're doing. In other words, you're more productive and you can actually feel a lot more fulfilled from the work that you're doing. Two, checking your phone when you wake up. As humans, you're not built to go from sleeping state to wide awake in 0.5 seconds. I'm wide awake. Blue light from your phone floods your brain with cortisol, making you feel stressed out and ultimately puts you in a state of fight and flight mode. Another way of looking at this is that you wouldn't wake up at 7 a.m. and then meet 100 people downstairs at 7.05, would you? So stop doing it. Number three, not having a bedtime routine. How you set yourself up to go to sleep at night is going to determine how well you sleep that night. In other words, a poor bedtime routine is gonna equal poor sleep. When you're sleep deprived, it affects your ability to store and recall information. For example, if you're a student and you're sleep deprived, you have to spend more time later on trying to consolidate the information that you have learnt in the past. Whereas if you made sleep a priority, then you wouldn't be studying as much or you wouldn't need to study as much. So if you are a student, right, or you're, you're in a career that forces you to learn a lot, then I would highly recommend that you prioritize sleep, even though it might be something that's difficult for you to do. Sleep deprivation also affects your emotions and how you feel. So if you're someone that has feelings of sadness and worry and whatnot, then I'd definitely be fixing your sleep. Number four, not turning off notifications. I personally feel like how productive and how focused I am throughout the day is very often linked to my notifications. If I'm getting notifications on my laptop, my iPad, my phone all the time, then I notice that my attention keeps on switching. It's like that multitasking thing again, like that task switching thing. If you don't set boundaries for your notifications on your phone and all your other devices, then you're letting those devices dictate your life. It is time to get back in control iOS has got this feature now, it's been out for a while, but I've only recently started using it, where you can customize your focus modes. So you can only let certain notifications in from certain people or apps. The last thing, number five, is drinking more coffee than water. Don't get me wrong, coffee is God's gift to mankind, but water is like God's need for mankind's survival. Make it a point to drink a glass or two of water before you have a coffee. Even mild dehydration has been shown to negatively affect how your brain thinks. It can also lead to feelings of fatigue and lightheadedness. So make sure you hydrate. That's it, just a short and quick one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.